Again, the guys are now coming around to give you another look at these lovely aeroplanes. And as I said, please give them a huge round of applause. They do a fantastic job and give them a huge wave. Ladies and gentlemen, the great walk is closing. Deliveries of Mark 1 Blenheims were to number 114 Squadron at RAF Witten near Huntingdon in March 1937. They replaced the Hawker Hind, one of the light bombers in the famous series of Hawker biplane fighters that we would have seen represented. The Hawker biplanes, I should say, not just fighters of the 1930s. Progress the Blenheim represented. The top speed of the Hawker Hind was 186 miles an hour, that of the Blenheim was 260 miles an hour. And with that sort of performance, the RAF saw potential in the Blenheim for a new pack four 4.303 inch Browning machine guns to augment the Blenheim's existing armament and number 25 squadron was the first to bring the Blenheim fighter into service in December 1938. The following year production switched to the long-nosed Mark IV with a larger navigator station. It too saw service as a fighter and bomber amongst other roles. Germany on the 3rd of September 1939, there were more Blenheims in RAF service, nearly 1,100 of them, than any other single aircraft type. And the earliest RAF operational actions of World War II all involved Blenheims. It was a number 139 squadron aircraft from Britain, being flown in a reconnaissance sortie. that became the first British aircraft to overfly Germany following the start of the war. And the following day, the 4th of September 1939, aircraft from numbers 107 and 110 squadrons at RAF Watersham in Suffolk made Bomber Command's first raid of hostilities. They attacked the German fleet in port at Wilhelmshaven. Their losses, however, were very severe. because what had been a fast aeroplane by the standards of two or three years earlier was by now vulnerable to enemy fighters. But nonetheless, the Blenheim crews continued to do tremendous work in all of this aircraft's roles and in all of the theatres in which they operated. Concerned. The Blenheim 1F fighter variant was very significant in terms of being one of the first radar equipped night fighters to see service with fighter command. Some of them were fitted with the Mark III AI airborne intercept radar and they began achieving successes. The first of them on the 2nd and 3rd of July 1940 
shooting down a Dornier Doe 17 of the Luftwaffe. Well, it's one of the flying in many theatres in Northern Europe, Mediterranean, the Middle East and the Far East. It was that year that the boss of number 105 squadron, the commander Hubie Edwards, was awarded the Victoria Cross for his gallantry during a daylight raid against the German city of Bremen on the 4th of July 1941. in various different guises to the landing the accident here in 2003 